Hi everyone, we thought we would make a video of David putting or hooking me up to antibiotics. This is actually the last time that I have to do the IV antibiotics. Tomorrow the nurse is coming to um, take out my pick line. Yay! It's been about six weeks with it in, so it's time to get it out. And today is the last dose of IV antibiotics. Tomorrow I start oral antibiotics for another six weeks, and then hopefully the infection, its butt will be kicked enough to keep it away. So here is Nurse David. He got a little too much sun yesterday. He's gonna hook me up. So the first thing he's gonna do is inject me with some saline, and the way the nurses uh, explained it to us and the method that we use is called the SASH method, S-A-S-H. Uh, it stands for saline and then antibiotics and saline again and then heparin. And so um, before David hooks the antibiotics up, he is going to inject me with saline. First though, um, in between all the methods, or all the, not methods, all the steps. steps. He um, does 15 seconds of wiping with an alcohol wipe. So first he takes the little cap off. And then he wipes it with alcohol wipe for 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds has passed, or almost. And now he's going to, oh, first he makes sure, I don't think he caught that, but he makes sure the air bubble is out. Um, and he injects three pumps, 10 mil, sorry, 10 milliliters of saline in kind of like a three pump fashion. It just uh, pushes it in faster. I don't know. That's the way the nurse said to do it. So that's the way he does it. Okay. Yeah, I got a little sunburn too. Anyway, back to the wiping. Okay, now 15 seconds have passed and he's going to hook up the antibiotics, which come in a very long tube all the way. You can't see. I'm going to do this little bulbous thing of so we unclipped it and the cap off. take the cap off. It's really dark. And then he's going to hook it up. Now that's the first two steps of SASH and now we have to wait for um, probably like an hour. Yep. Okay, let's wait. <laughs> Disconnecting the vancomycin and going to flush her. And so this is the second S on sash for more saline. Right now I am trying to make sure all the air bubbles are out. And then I push it up with the cap on to pop the seal. And squeeze out so that there's no air in there. And then the heparin, same thing. Make sure the air is up at the top here. Squeeze it, push it with the cap on to break the seal so that it's easier to push out without spraying it all over the place. And then push the air out. And then the last part that we're going to use is the screen little cap and that to cover for here when I disconnect. So, clamp off 
the vancomycin so that if there's anything left, it doesn't go either way. Push the end of it. Show them what the. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's what it looks like finished. Empty. Nothing left. And disconnecting, just twist it off. And 15 seconds of scrubbing with the alcohol pad. Somebody once told me in the hospital, I think, that if you don't know how to count to 15, then you can sing happy birthday. I think that's what it was. And flushing with the 10 cc's the saline. Again, and three squeezes, pumps, pumps, yes. Heparin. This goes in there and basically it creates a liquid lock. It fills the pick line all the way and keeps things from coming back into it. Clamp this off. And finally the cover. It's got uh, Basically a anti antiseptic, I think. It covers it and keeps it clean and sterile. Little push, little twist, tight, and it's all done. And everything goes in the trash. Alright, so um since an hour ago, um, some things have changed. We're not getting the pick line taken out tomorrow. Um, when I was taking the band-aid off of my incision, uh, I, there was a little bit of pus, maybe, I don't know. It could be just tissue. I could be overreacting, but after everything that's gone on this last couple of months, I don't know what to do, so I uh, emailed the doctor, and the nurse is going to hold off taking it off, or taking it out until we talk to the doctor, which might not be till Monday, but we'll keep everyone posted. Just pray that there's no more infection, and we can get on with this, because I'm ready to, I'm ready to start doing rehab again, and get my prosthetic, and home so yeah so that's how you hook up an IV uh, pick line IV antibiotics and how you flush it before and afterwards using the sash me method um, I guess that's all for now uh, We'll talk to everyone soon. Say bye, Nurse David. Bye, Nurse David. Bye, everyone. Bye.